Hello Libra and welcome to your um, tarot card reading for the week of October 10th. Um, my camera's on the blitz so I'm doing this off my phone so bear with me. So I did pre-shuffle the cards and um, got the spread out and so I, you know, as I'm holding the phone with one hand. So let's get into your reading here. Um, you're coming in with the Four of Hearts. The Four of Hearts is telling me that some areas that may have been stagnant or, you know, that you've been either bored of or things that have been offered to you, you possibly um, were maybe thinking about them, weren't sure if you wanted to take them. What it is telling me also for the major thing here is that there is some um, stabilizing energy coming in. This could be with the home. This could be, um, it's your foundation. So it's um, basically with the the home um, I, cause I see these love cards coming here, matters of the heart and also, um, career, career, um, or financial matters are in focus here. You got the two of diamonds. This is also saying that there could be a partnership or, um, a person that, um, may have been working with you. It's coming in strongly with some of, uh, for some of you out there that you've been working with. And, um, there were some decisions that had to be made also about, um, some of you are trying to juggle two things at the same time, but with the ten of spades, it's saying that some for some of you, a partnership could have ended, or they could have been an ending in. Um, for some of you, it's saying that um, a second source of income could have, uh, possibly has ended because there's an ending here, but you're going into a new beginning. With the four of diamonds here again, we're talking about stabilizing found your foundation. We're talking about. Um, possibly um, saving some money and also with the double force here we're talking about your foundation being um settling into your foundation also money is really definitely on the mind here now with the two of hearts this is telling me again that this with the two of diamonds here is that someone could be coming in from the past or someone present and it's like a soulmate the thing is with the soulmate, um, it does not mean it has to be love. It could be someone who's very like-minded. So that is coming in. Something ended and somebody is coming in. And with the king of spades here, I get the feeling here that this person is going to give you good advice. And this could be the person that could be coming in. This could be a female or a male. And it's a spade. So it's an air sign. So this is. it is also saying that this person may give you some good advice in some of these areas here. With the four... Of wands again, you're going to be more enthusiastic um, and very receptive in really wanting to move on in these areas because your foundation is getting like really more stabilized. And this could be this person coming into your home, your foundation, someone very important, or giving you some advice about the home or about some kind of um, um, financial opportunities. With the death card here, this is definitely saying that. Um, with the Ten of Spades too, that there is definitely um, an ending and you're going on the right path because of these cards here. Um, so there is an ending coming and also something is clearing out. And you basically, towards the end of the week, you're really what you're doing is you're walking out with the Eight of Diamonds. The Eight of Diamonds is saying that um, money, this is money coming in. This is money that you've either worked for or like I see this energy here with the fours that you've been trying to stabilize um, some things in your life and it's going to be paying off. So, or this could, yeah, this is definitely money coming in. Money that you uh, worked for too um, is going to pay off. You have an underlying energy of the lover's card and the lover's card is telling me again that love is in focus or contracts in focus. And it could be possibly an air sign here, just like you guys, or this could be, you know, you guys actually, you could be in the theme here. You have a powerful, um, change of foundation in your um spread here so this could be also you for some of you this is you but this is also saying that someone um like an air sign or that or has that quality could be coming into your life or giving you this great advice some of you could be forming a relationship with this person for career we have the ten of diamonds here the ten of diamonds is saying money money is really on its way so some of you could be getting that promotion with um crossing here with the King of uh, Swords, some of you could be getting that promotion or an advancement, but career is really looking good. It's like you're really reaping the rewards of your hard work in whatever that is. So some of you are looking for a job in that. You should be able to um, 
probably uh, fare well and get a good, um, probably get hired. <laughs> With um, love, you got the Ace of Hearts. Here we're, we're speaking again of new love coming in. This is ind indicative of new love coming in. Um, also, it's matters of the heart. So you could be connecting with a soulmate here, um, like-minded person. So this could be general. I always say love life, you know, is I like to say matters of the heart because it could mean anybody that really is very important to you. But there is there is a sense of new newness coming in here anyway. And the tarot card that was pulled is the Ace of Pentacles. Again, we're talking about new beginnings coming in and you're going on the right path. So we're definitely... Um, seeing here, um, some things have ended and it could be a partnership, um, or with somebody, um, also the way maybe the two sources of income or, um, some of you may be quitting your job or starting something new, but there is definitely hand endings here and with the death card. So you got the endings coming in and you got some great new beginnings, starting some really great new beginnings and it's, I think it's absolutely beautiful. You have a um, beautiful spread. Anyway, um, Libra, that was your reading for the week of um, October 10th. And uh, see you for the gemstone readings tomorrow. Bye, guys.